Hey there, welcome to Technability. All right, what we have here today is iOS 7 Beta 4, which was just released today. Today being July 29, 2013. Finally, we were able to get it after a week layoff with the developer site being down. We now have iOS 7 Beta 4, and let's just go ahead and get started here. This is the first time I'm using it. I literally just installed it, so I'm gonna check it out with you guys as we do this video. So first thing you're gonna notice is the little gray bar on the top for the notification, a little gray bar on the bottom for your quick, uh, quick settings or the toggles uh, control center as they call it now uh, the slide to unlock is there they had this before but it was a little arrow now you actually have this little gray bar I guess to differentiate or to let you know that there's a uh, control center down there and a notification bar up there so let's go ahead and slide and you can see you know in terms of the layout it's the same nothing much changed. so this definitely looks like it's increased um, yeah, I mean you can see just going through it here all right, it's just uh, very fast. Let's check out Spotlight. That was one of the things that kind of slowed it down. Yeah, see Spotlight super fast, no lag whatsoever, no stutter, it just immediately opens up. I can close out of it, and then let's go ahead and check out the camera here. Camera looks like it stayed the same. Of course, if you pan over, you can get square, and then you can get panorama, and if you go to the left, you can get video. So we can go ahead and take a picture here. Super fast, super responsive. Uh, nothing really changed with the camera there. If we check out photos, all right, let's go ahead and just zoom out and look at one of these pictures. You can see what I'm doing there. So you can just zoom out of one of them by doing such, which is pretty cool. And if I do that here, I could do that as well. You can see, okay. Obviously, you have, you have various different ways to look at your photos uh, by year, by location, etc. Uh, the, the folders, of course, stayed the same, so nothing changed in relation to the folders. Browser, let's check out Safari here. It's a lot faster, I'll tell you that, guys. Everything seems super responsive. One of the complaints I had, well, it's not a complaint because with every uh, beta build, they have uh, resolved the speed issue and made it just a little bit faster. And you could see scrolling super fast, pinch zoom. I could pinch and zoom around, uh, pan around the screen while pinching. All right, so that's been uh, improved indeed. We can go ahead and click on these tabs here and just swipe them away as such. Check out multitasking. All right, so we can go ahead and remove as many as we'd like. Siri. Hey, Siri. Hi. Turn on Bluetooth. Okay, I turned on Bluetooth. Turn off Bluetooth. Okay, I turned off Bluetooth. Decrease brightness. Okay, I made the screen. Increase brightness. Okay, I made the screen brighter. What is 6 times 2 times 3 minus 9 divided by 3 to the second power? She has to think about this one. Let me check that. The answer is minus 54. All right. Thank you, Siri. Thank you for that. All right, so there's Siri, of course, uh, much improved. You can set reminders, do everything else that you've come to love with Siri. Uh, let's see, weather, looks like it stayed the same. Um, looks a little different, actually. Oh, no, it's definitely stayed the same. Nice little animation going on in the background. Um, let's go ahead and check the settings here. Parallax, motion, whatever it's called. For one second it was called motion and then they called it parallax. Let's see, let's reduce motion. It was changed to parallax for a minute, but it looks like they made it back or they uh, put it back to motion and they did that with beta 3. So that's when you have the uh, wallpaper moving in the background, what they call the 3D effect. Let's check out if, uh, let's check out wallpapers and see if they've added any. Huh? Wallpaper, dynamic, nope, no dyna new dynamics, no new wallpapers. Okay, so wallpapers have stayed the same. Uh, for the most part, it just feels more refined, it feels faster, it feels a little bit smoother, um, it, it's a lot more responsive to my touch. Uh, overall, you know, Spotlight, for example, seems to work a lot better. Uh, it looks cleaner, it looks more refined, and you'd expect that with, with 
beta 4 and you know future beta builds and whatnot of course you can access the camera from down here as such okay and if I just go back check out the notes app nothing changed there uh, clock of course I don't think anything's changed there either so everything stayed the same it, it just seems like there's a lot of minor refinements the lock screen uh, a few differences with um, the lock screen there and then obviously you got system uh, refinements and bug fixes to make the to experience just a little bit faster just a little bit more fluid and you could feel it across the board Siri feels a lot more responsive thank you Siri just doing my job she seems to respond a little bit faster which is great multitasking again loads up just a second a hair of a, a hair of a fast you know a little bit faster than before uh, I was about to say hair of the dog <laughs> Someone asked me about that yesterday. Anyways, and other than other than that, otherwise, it seems like everything else has pretty much stayed the same. All right, so there you guys go. iOS 7 Beta 4. If you have any requests, please don't hesitate to ask me. Uh, thank you for watching Technability. Check out my banner here I just got. And if you have any other questions, again, uh, leave me a comment or send me a message or check out www.technability.com. You can see that right there. Uh, we have some really cool stuff going on there, guys. And don't forget to subscribe. All right, thank you for watching.